The Battle of Samosiera took place on November 30, 1808, during the Peninsular War, when a French army under Napoleon I forced a passage through the Sierra de Guadarrama shielding Madrid. At the Samosiera Mountain Pass, 60 miles north of Madrid, a heavily outnumbered Spanish detachment of conscripts and artillery under Benito de San Juan aimed to block Napoleon's advance on the Spanish capital. Napoleon overwhelmed the Spanish positions in a combined arms attack, sending the Polish Cheval Légers of the Imperial Guard at the Spanish guns while French infantry advanced up the slopes. The victory removed the last obstacle barring the road to Madrid, which fell several days later. Background by late November 1808 the French Grande Armée had overwhelmed and destroyed both wings of the Spanish Popular Army. To complete his reconquest of Spain, Napoleon advanced on Madrid with 40,000 men. General San Juan mustered an ad hoc army of militia, reservists and various regular regiments still reeling from earlier defeats, in all about 12,000 men, to defend Madrid. In order to screen the many approaches to the city, San Juan dispersed his already greatly outnumbered forces. Under his orders, 9,000 men were sent west to guard the Guadarrama Pass while 3,000 occupied an advanced post at Sepulveda, leaving only 9,000 men and 16 guns on the heights of Samosierra. <laughs> Samosierra Pass the nature of the terrain and the tenacity of the Spaniards initially worked in their favor. On the evening of November 29 the brigade at Sepulveda repulsed a French attack, inflicted heavy casualties and escaped from overwhelming French numbers in the gathering darkness to the west. The following morning Napoleon advanced his infantry directly toward the pass while small detachments crept up the flanks. Exchanging musket volleys with the defenders, the French made slow but measurable progress toward the enemy guns. The Polish charge Topic. Because the Spanish forces could not easily be outflanked by infantry movement, and Napoleon was impatient to proceed, he ordered his Polish Chevaux Légers escort squadron of 125 men to charge the Spaniards and their fortified artillery batteries. To that number must be added members of other squadrons, totaling some 450 men, but these entered the battle later. The charge of 125 against the batteries was joined by Niegolevsky's platoon returning from reconnaissance. It is not clear, however, whether the number included only frontline troops sabers or all the soldiers in the units. Napoleon issued no written orders. Jan Kozietulski, who commanded the 3rd Squadron that day, mentioned that he called, Leka Jazda Kluzum, light cavalry at the trot, and, passing the little bridge, added, en avant, vive l. Emperor. Forward, long live the Emperor. Some Western authors have assumed that Napoleon had gone out of his mind in ordering the Poles to charge batteries of 16 cannon over several kilometers of extremely difficult terrain. Others, however, think Napoleon ordered only the closest battery to be taken, in order to open the way for his infantry, and that Kozietulski had misunderstood the order. No matter, once the charge had begun, and the Chevaux-Légers found themselves under fire from the second battery, they had no choice but to press the attack, as the horses went to the highest speed and were unable to stop. They took the second and third batteries but only a few Chevaux-Légers reached the last battery, and the Spanish attempted to recapture it. It was then that Napoleon saw his chance and immediately committed the other squadrons. Benito de San Juan had 16 cannon at his disposal, arranged in four batteries. Some accounts, based mostly on recollections of French officers, assume that the Spaniards placed all their guns at the peak of Samosierra Pass. However, with a range of 600 to 800 meters, the cannons, deployed in this fashion, could not have struck much of the French army and there were reports that Napoleon himself was at times under artillery fire. The first battery defended the entrance to the Samosierra Pass, the next two covered the pass at its angles and the fourth, only, stood by the heights. It was assumed that all batteries had four cannons, and later theories that the pass was too narrow for that to be possible should be treated as legends. Thirteenth Bulletin of the Army of Spain mentioned that Cheval were commanded by General Louis Pierre, Count Montbrun. However, both Polish charge participants mentioned above and Lieutenant Col. 
Pierre d'Autencourt, one of the French tutors of the unit, stressed in their accounts that such was not the case. Daytoncourt mentioned that Montbrun in conversations with him had laughed at that idea. Yet French historian Adolphe Thiers gave him the honor of leading the charge, which caused a protest by surviving Polish participants of the battle. Maj. Philippe de Sager in his memoirs wrote that he had commanded the charge, but his accounts were often described as unreliable and, again, both Dottencourt and the Poles denied his role in it. The charge was led by Kozyatulski, but he lost his horse after taking the first battery. The squadron was then joined by Lt. Andrei Niegolevsky, who had previously been on reconnaissance with his soldiers. The charge was continued under Zhiwanowski, and when he fell from his horse after taking the third battery he was replaced by Peter Krasinski. The charge that continued to the last battery was led by Niegolevsky, who miraculously survived a fierce attack by Spanish troops. He received nine wounds from bayonets and two carbine shots to the head. According to many memoirs of veterans of the battle, Kozyatulski led his men in a charge with the official cry Vive l'Empereur. However, popular legend has it that the true battle cry was the Polish Naprzod Sykri, Cesar's Paterza, forward, you sons of dogs, the emperor is watching. When the 4th battery was taken Napoleon ordered his chasseur of the guard and the 1st squadron of Poles led by Tomasz Lubinski to resume the attack and drive the Spaniards from the pass. Lubinski tried to give himself the whole glory, minimizing the role of the 3rd squadron, while Niegolevski tried to show that he had taken the cannons and Lubinski had therefore had it easy, as the Spanish were shooting at him with candies. Topic. Charge effects Topic. French officers tried to minimize the effect of the Polish charge, saying that all the success should be given to French infantry of Gen. Francois Ruffin. Yet still, the 13th Bulletin of the Army of Spain mentioned the lead role of the Polish chevaux légers. Only a cavalry charge was able to take all four batteries, even if French infantry was close enough to press their attack, and caused the en masse retreat of Spanish Andalusian irregular militia and, in effect, the retreat of the whole army. Spanish artillerymen preferred to die rather than abandon their position, but no Polish account mentioned any fight with Spanish militia. Militiamen just left their position after seeing how seemingly easily the Poles took the artillery positions, however, in the smoke they could not see just how few Poles were on the top. <laughs> Aftermath San Juan raised his army back to Madrid. Although the victory at Samosierra was more accurately the result of a combined infantry and cavalry attack, with the infantry bearing the heavier fighting, later accounts, Napoleon's included, placed all the emphasis on the Polish charge. San Juan was later killed by his own men. French patrols reached the outskirts of Madrid on December 1. The junta made a half hearted and futile attempt to defend the capital, and on December 4, a devastating French artillery barrage brought the Spanish defense to grief. Spaniards surrendered their remaining 2,500 regulars, the 20,000 civilians under their banner dispersed, and the French entered Madrid for the second time that year. The Battle of Samosierra is commemorated on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Warsaw, with the inscription, SOMOSIERRA 30 11 1808. Notes Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Frank Bauer, Samosierra 30, November 1808. Dirchbrück nach Madrid, Kleine Reihe Geschichte der Befreiungskrieg 1813 to 1815, H24, Potsdam 2008. Topic. External links. Topic. Battle of Samosierra, detailed account, maps.